but first up at 6 o'clock, we were learning disturbing new details about a sheriff's deputy accused of recording a mother perform oral sex on her own toddler. Just when you thought things could not get more disgusting, there is a new concern tonight. The deputy may have coerced other victims. The investigative unit and chief investigator Chris Nakamoto here now with more on what we have just found out. Well, Michael, we're told he may have had a trove of videos, but through his phone in the Mississippi River when the cops were closing in, detectives are getting help, though, from the deputy's live-in girlfriend. She's cooperating with investigators and was none too surprised. Behind the walls of this greenhouse in St. Gabriel is where police say horror unfolded for a toddler at the hands of his mother, Aisha Todd, and a now former Iberville Parish deputy, Shaderick Jones, sworn to uphold and protect the law. We're dealing with a sick individual. St. Gabriel Police Chief Kevin Ambo's office is investigating. He's in protective custody. He says the deputy filmed one of the most sickening things he's ever seen in his career. If you didn't do it. And tonight we're learning what police took out of his house when they got a no-knock warrant. Among the items, sex toys, 33 marked and unmarked DVDs, five cell phones, three tablets, two laptops, and a DVR. When the mother of the one-year-old was questioned by investigators, she told detectives the deputy Jones had multiple other videos of children having sex on his phone. Well, when investigators went to get that phone, they couldn't locate it. That's because deputy Jones confessed that he threw it in the Mississippi River. I think it may have some other victim come forward. I do believe we have other victim that right now they're really scared to come forward because of the press conference they're getting. Um, the press conference said it went viral and... A lot of people, especially victims of rape, never want to come forward. Those are the hardest victims you ever get to come forward because of the embarrassment. Arrest records show the deputy showed up at the mother's house and used a traffic warrant she had to coerce her and said he wanted her to help him with a sexual fantasy involving kids. The mother told authorities she didn't want to go to jail and eventually complied with Jones' request and he's accused of filming it. That mother had called police and said, hey, this deputy is trying to have me perform oral sex on my one-year-old. Would that be a believable story? Might not be believable, but the police still would have had to respond. And the mother was put in a situation that she should have called the police. Iberville Parish Sheriff Brett Stassi fired Jones immediately after his arrest. Jones and Todd are both being held without bond for their alleged crimes. The one-year-old, meanwhile, is in state protective custody. Chris, thank you.